This is Bruce Jansen at the 36th Annual SDEF Hawaii Dermatology Seminar. I'm speaking with Dr. Albert Yan, Director of Pediatric Dermatology at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Dr. Yan, uh, you emphasize uh, very liberal testing for HSV, herpes simplex virus infection, in um, sick neonates that present with uh, any kind of skin interruption. Why is that? Well, I think that there is good data to show that um, the diagnosis of neonatal HSV still tends to be delayed, and this has significant implications for morbidity and mortality in treating patients appropriately. One of the hallmarks of neonatal HSV in those patients who present with skin findings is interrupted skin integrity, which means vesicles or bully or skin erosions. And this can range from fairly subtle findings to a more disseminated, uh, generalized phenomenon as seen in more disseminated disease. Early diagnosis is critical to being able to treat these patients properly and preventing some of the complications that can result, which includes uh, residual neurologic deficits or even death uh, when these cases are not treated promptly. So when I'm confronted by an infant or neonate who has interrupted skin integrity, I tend to think about neonatal HSV. It's really important to keep this disease in mind because um, it tends to be underdiagnosed and leads to a delay in eventual diagnosis if we don't maintain a high enough index of suspicion, which is why when I think about interrupted skin integrity in neonates, on my differential diagnosis is neonatal HSV first, followed by neonatal HSV second, third, fourth, and fifth, and then I start to consider other things on the differential as well. And what's the best way to screen for the HSV infection? Well, there, in neonates, you have to look at the various different places where you can find HSV and recover it. And if you have skin lesions, then the skin is a good place to start. If you don't have skin lesions or as part of a more complete workup, you should also look at the conjunctiva, you should look at the oropharynx, you should look at the uh, perianal area and the blood as well. Uh, the perianal or rectal swabs, though, can be confounded by the fact that uh, you can, it can reflect maternal colonization. So that's the one area where you may be best off delaying uh, a screening study of that site for at least 24 to 72 hours um, after birth. Otherwise, screening multiple different sites increases your diagnostic yield and your ability to pick up the diagnosis and treat it properly. Uh, in terms of what the best study is, uh, viral culture has been the traditional way of diagnosing these patients, but typically that takes up to three days to become positive, and many institutions are starting to move towards a PCR-based technique, uh, which is present in our institution, and uh, the adv advantage of doing so is that you can get results back within 24 hours typically. So whether you have viral culture available in your hospital or PCR, those are the best ways of screening for this type of infection.